Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That channel is Dev Chanel's What Is World and I am Dev Chanel. Okay, I'm your host. I'm your correspondent for tonight and we can get right on into the story. Honey, Atlanta Black Star brought out a story on um, Yovana and Portia and their little incident they had on um, last night, or I should say Sunday's episode. In the past that was broadcasted on January 12th. Um, which was assigned to Eastern Standard Time in Atlanta, uh, eight o'clock hour. Uh, was it Eastern Standard Time Zone? Um, and uh, I guess they're piggybacking off that particular show. And lo and behold, honey, some fans of Portia are saying Portia should have got hands on with Yovana Plasur. And I'm like, uh, girl, those fans, those fanatics, those follow, uh, followers of yours, if you listen to half of what they say, you're going to be behind bars, child. You're going to be behind bars. And your mama is going to be raising your child if you had to put hands on Miss Giovanna. No, 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 no. So don't think about that, Portia. Don't get confused, okay? Don't let that excitement, that adrenaline that was running through your veins take the best part of you okay and put you in a situation you ain't gonna be able to come back from okay because your bond show would have been pressing charges and if she would have released those charges she definitely she definitely would have sued you i'm just saying total total tko knockout she would have got the better of you and she probably would have been on the show leaking all the tea after the facts okay so of course you know you've been in anger management let's show some restraint okay let's show some calming down some woosa moments breathe in breathe out okay because there ain't no woman on this world on this here earth that can taunt me into saying your husband is this your husband is that you know and then you gonna jump up and get froggy like you finna do something. I'm like, then Dennis was the one that just got finished cheating on you. And girl, he was back in the tabloids having a late night dinner or breakfast, depending on how you look at it. In the wee hours of Saturday morning, girl. Girl! Okay, so you shouldn't be jumping up trying to defend nothing or no one, okay? Unless it's Jesus Christ, okay? That's it, baby. He the only one that died for your sins, okay? And he didn't have to. But these people out in this world, girl, please, you better sit down somewhere. But let's get on into the story that Atlanta Black Star uh, brought out. Tia Berger was one of the correspondents or journalists over there bringing out this salacious story, honey. It just crank, came across my, media, my, my social media feed. And I was like, mm, I thought I was done for the night. But after trying to hit that title, and you know I'm going to wait on you, fam. I'm going to just give me the title. And I'm like, okay, I think I want to talk about that. So I had to call you all, tell y'all to come on. Let's congregate over to the home, the house, the living room, the kitchen, wherever you want to sit down. Bring your bottles because I ain't got nothing but ginger ale, water, and juice over here. All right. So I invited a few of my family members. We got down and started discussing this particular uh, piece. And it ended up something like this. Why don't we get into it, okay? It said as article title you should have slapped her real housewives of atlanta fans urged portia williams like her fans got any gumption enough to tell her what to do on her platform okay better recognize portia don't be sitting up here letting people uh fake you out trying to tell you what to do on your own platform okay but anyway just going back to the article it said fans urged portia williams to put pause a little scrapper. We get a little love and hip hop and let out there. Y'all never scrap at a rapper. Married to Bambi. Mm -hmm. The entertainment artist. What well, she passed strip. I don't know which one. But anyway, yes. Urge Parcher to put pause uh, on Yovana after she disrespected her fiance Dennis. Huh? Sticks and stones. Sticks and stones. I don't care what, you could have called him everything but a child of God. I, you wouldn't phase me not one time. Because I know what I like about that man. I know what he's been doing out there in his social media. But for some reason, some reason, only Portia know and Lord above know why she stay with him. So I'm like, sticks and stones, you call me anything you want to, honey. But guess what? 
Hmm. I'm with them. And that's how I would have played it. That's an OG mood. That's a, a, a real a woman standing in her own. Because you ain't got time to be fighting on nobody. Okay? Not even over your child. Unless you're fighting against the other adult. And they may have put their hands on your child. And that's something else. You're trying to be defending your child. This, that, and third. But it's best not to put your hands on nobody in today's society that we dwell in today. Okay? But anyway. Give you that title one more time. It said... You should have slapped her. Real Housewives of Atlanta fans urged Portia Williams to put paws on Yovana after she disrespected fiancé Dennis. Okay. Going into the article, it says, It seems Real Housewives of Atlanta viewers were rooting for Portia Williams to revert back. Revert means to go back. Okay. To whatever you were doing positive, they want you to go negative. Okay. Revert back to her old self. Following her intense fight with Yovana this week. Okay, yeah, that's pretty Nirvana, honey. We're gonna get scrapping with pretty Portia. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't want no jail time. Wanna be out with my little girl. Don't want no jail time. Okay, that's what Portia should have been playing all up in her uh, memory banks and doing the, the bank head bounce, the bounce, the bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. And you're just going all around the circle. Just calming herself down. Breathing in. Breathing out. That's what she should have been doing, honey. Ain't, no, mm -mm, ain't put pause on nobody. Okay? But that's what they said in that first paragraph. Let's go on and read what the second paragraph said. In the midst of trying to find out who among the group apparently recorded Cynthia Bailey disparaging comments about former friend Nene Leakes. All chaos broke loose. Okay, on Sunday night's episode, the Real Housewives of Atlanta crew, including Williams, Bailey, Kenya Moore, Eva Marcel, Marlo Hampton, and Nene Leakes sat down. Why they forgot about Candy then? Okay, well, anyway, they sat down with Monoplusur and confronted her about being the snake in the group. Monoplusur, which is Yovana, uh, seemingly denied the ladies' accusations, but Williams wasn't having it. Okay? Mm-mm, not Portia. The 38-year-old new mother sat in a chair across from Yovana and started scolding her for calling the Real Housewives of Atlanta fake and breaking up Bailey and Leek's 10-year friendship. Now, honey... No, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. Yovana didn't come in and break up nobody's friendship because Nene Leeds and Cynthia Bailey were out there swinging it in the streets, windmilling, telling tales. Some probably wasn't true, some were true. Just going back and forth on anybody's platform that would let them come in and talk about it, okay? And they let have on each other when nobody put up to do nothing. They both were in their feelings. And they let their feelings be known publicly for all who wanted to do commentary on their behinds. It was all fair game at that point. Okay, that was my sidebar. Not in this article, but going back to the article. It said, um, things took a turn from there after Yovana responded to Williams by dissing her fiancé, Dennis McKinley, and calling him a snake. Okay, since you want to call her a snake, Portia, she said, I'm going to hit it where it hurts. I'm going to hit you below your kneecaps. Honey, your future husband, your fiancé, he's a snake. <laughs> and he like messing with animals. Allegedly. Okay. But anyway, uh, it goes on to the next paragraph and said, In a matter of seconds, William stood up in a confrontational manner, but was quickly pulled away by her co-stars. And I'm like, girl, Portia need to sit her behind down. Didn't we send you to counseling, Portia? Did we not send you to anger management counseling? You do not need to be getting up, jumping like you're going to be froggy and pounce on somebody. Girl, you have baby PJ. PJ ain't got time to be coming seeing you through no jail cell. Girl, time not going insane. Mm-mm, 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 Portia. No, ma'am, that's not a good look. Orange don't look that good on you either. Not with the flap flaps of the sneakers, okay? But anyway, not in that, not in this article. That was my sidebar. Um, then it was uh, said in the article, things took an uglier turn when Yovana also brought up the bestiality accus accusations made against McKinley last year. Several Real Housewives of Atlanta's viewer felt the newcomer took things too far and that Williams should have scrapped with her for doing so. I'm like, girl, your fans, your followers, your um, Porsche lovers, they want you to go to jail. Girl, are those the kind of people you attracting? 
that's pushing you up, setting you up for the okie doke. Girl, hmm. Huh. You better stay prayed up, honey. It seems like you got your fans. They be turning your enemies, honey. Ooh, you got to keep both of them close. Your enemies and your fans. Mm. But anyway, moving from that situation, not an article, just my sidebar. Okay, it says, um, <clears throat> at that point, you should have slapped her, Portia, for talking about your man. Let's congratulate at for real Portia on her growth, because the old Portia would have dragged Yvonne. Uh, you hear me? And I'm just responding to that comment. Uh-uh. It would have been sad. It would have been a sad, sad day if Yovana took over Portia role and dragged Portia for filth. And I'm not talking about verbally. I'm talking about all the way around that hotel suite, okay? And not letting her go. Not one hand of hair would have been held uh, tightly in her hand unless she pulled it all out because she probably would have had Portia holding her for dear life and would probably shaking her every which way but loose. <laughs> okay. So, uh-uh. No, no, no. Portia may have been the aggressor, but Yvonne would have been the finisher. <laughs> Did you ever think about that one? All right. You're rooting for one dog and the other dog prevail. You that other dog come up somewhere and, and bite her in the butt real bad. Child, please don't underestimate your opponent. Don't underestimate your opponent. But anyway, that was my sidebar again. Um, Going back to the commenter, another one said, Portia had every right to drag that garden too. You know, what you be digging up? You know, the dirt? Oh, yeah. I was waiting on it. Plus, I knew Yovana was the one who recorded Cynthia. Mm-hmm. Portia Williams should have beat her ass. I miss that old Portia because Yo-Yo would have been on the floor. yo Vana, why is you here, itch? Okay. Another commenter wrote, uh, well, no, they didn't write this. It's just back to her article. Williams, along with the rest of the Real Housewives of Atlanta co-stars, suspected Mana Plus Sewer was the snake after the ladies pulled her aside to question her about the person who recorded Bailey's conversation. The crew noticed the Clark Atlanta alumni started darting their questions which led them to suspect she was the culprit what well, to my understanding and me watching and viewing and giving my expectations of how i feel it should have went um no no if just yovana was playing it cool she could care less about who the snake was or if she was the snake she wasn't giving herself away she stayed in true character and true form and they didn't know until this day they still don't know you still speculate because nothing was solved nobody really said oh yeah it was yovana and yovana admitted to it no, there was nothing like that it was just total chaos with no type of uh understanding after everything was over with everybody still was in the dog okay but anyway let me see if I can have this taping or this recording so that y'all can hear it. Let me disconnect my earphones. Hopefully y'all can hear it. That's where it ended, guys. Nene was trying to tell Cynthia, if you didn't watch the show, that um, Yovana had some type of recording uh, that she could play for everybody to hear Cynthia talking nasty about Nene. But like I said, it was just crazy. You know what I'm saying? Totally crazy, asinine. Who gives a crap? You know, they talked about each other in public. Who cares if they talk about each other 
behind closed doors. It's still going to be what it is. They both going to say what they say, whether it's in public or behind doors. It just is what it is, okay? But hey, when Portia jumped up doing that kind of mess, I was like, girl, if you going to sit yourself down before you get some sentences because you already got one or two strikes on you about aggravating or being aggressive in two different situations okay so just pipe down just pipe down you got one kenya i don't know if it really went anywhere then you got that other lady uh that was assistant in yours or somebody that was in your team way back when that you jumped in an alley allegedly okay but it was all over social media so i'm like portia don't let people uh, rule you or try to boss up at you and you're supposed to give them that energy that they're wanting from you because they have all t they have um alter alternative well not alter alternative they have intentions to do bad by you they have ulterior motives honey you gotta think if somebody trying to tell you to do something that you knew you had left behind because you had growth you had grew from that type of situation and that type of mentality and they want you to go back them are the ones that you should be getting on Okay, not putting no pause, but really, you know, verbally cussing them out. However you want to get down with them, you know what I'm saying? But you don't let nobody else dictate what you should do with your demeanor, your actions. Okay, you don't do that. So hopefully you're not listening to these commenters or uh, speculators of what you should have done. But they probably wouldn't have done it themselves. Okay, just keeping it real, baby. But that's all I have for this particular article. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Y'all found some type of edification on it. On getting to understand why Yvonne did what she did and Portia did what she did. I'm gonna tell all these ladies out here, young, old, seasoned, and halfway in the grade. Don't make no, don't let no man make no fool out you. Because if that's the same term, would they? If a man is talking about you to your man, or a man is talking to your man about you, will he stand out for you? I'm trying to tell you, honey. I don't know. Because, like I said, people can talk all day. They ain't got nothing to do with it. As long as they don't come in your personal space or physically touch you. When they do those two things, then it's a, it's a misunderstanding if it didn't happen, okay? But other than that, mm -mm. And in parting, as Don Cornelius say, we got love for you. And we got peace. And we got soul. Y'all stay beautiful. And y'all stay attentive. And subscribe to my channel as well as share, share, share. Okay, bye guys.